It's estimated more than 30% of Australians expect to get a bigger cheque from the tax man this year. Working from home during COVID-19 means more deductions. Here's our guide to what you can claim. Tax season is around the corner and we've got your A to Z guide. Starting with working from home expenses. We are working from home a lot more this year, so we should expect an increase in work-related expenses for our home office. However, we can see a reduction in relation to work-related car expenses and also travel costs. Adrian Raftery, author of 101 Ways to Save Money on Your Tax Legally, says we shouldn't just accept the 80 cents per hour shortcut method this year, as it may not generate the best claim going forward. Economist Peter Switzer. I was locked up for, for 10 weeks uh, I was doing an extra eight hours worth of heating. It works out being, you know, $60 a quarter. But if you really do find as though you're spending a lot of money on uh, internet and all that sort of stuff and telephone bills, well, then the actual cost method might be the best way to go. You can claim electricity, heating, cooling, lighting, cleaning costs, phone, internet and home office equipment up to $300. If it's something you had to buy to make it work at home, you could actually claim that kind of thing as well. Lost your job in the wake of COVID-19? If you are made redundant, the first $10,000 you do receive in your redundancy payment, plus $5,000 for each year that you completed working with your employer, is tax-free. Any amount above that is taxed at 32%, along with any unused leave or an annual leave. If you're out of work for a significant period of time, it's likely you'll receive a bigger tax refund. That's because the tax you paid in the first part of the year is more than you'd accumulate over the 12 months. Expecting a $1,500 JobKeeper payment? Well, not after tax. If you are on the JobKeeper payment and you're getting $1,500 a fortnight, the tax on that will be $192. So therefore you end up effectively with $1,308 after tax. If you are working two jobs and one of them does include the JobKeeper payments and you're getting more than what you normally do, you may get an extra tax, tax bill at the end of the year. Now what that means is your income has grown but the amount of tax being deducted during the year hasn't compensated accordingly. Adrian suggests putting some money aside now to avoid a nasty headache when the ATO asks for a little more cash at the end of the financial year. Thank you. If you run a small business, it's important to note that the JobKeeper payment is taxable, but the cash flow boost isn't. Don't put it in as income in your tax return, otherwise you're going to be paying tax if you shouldn't be. One of the best tax deductions each year is super. If you've been largely unaffected by COVID-19 and your income hasn't changed much, you might want to put a little extra into your super. Something else you might want to think about is... You actually can access your super, but there's no change when it comes to deductions. Remember, the access to super is $10,000 before June 30 and $10,000 after June 30 because that's a new financial year. I think there are going to be a lot of young people, particularly if there are couples, that's 20,000 plus 20,000 is 40 grand, and a lot of people could use that as a deposit to buy a home. One thing we've learned during this pandemic is that every dollar counts. You can download the ATO app, which keeps a record of all your receipts from throughout the year. Negative gearing is one of the biggest claims that investors make each year, but we would expect that negative gearing losses to be even higher this year because rents aren't coming in, they're not being paid as often, uh, or they're not being paid at all. The ATO website is your best bet for accurate information about what you can and can't claim. It's also a great place to start if you're going without an accountant this year. There hasn't been a history of the tax office practising empathy, but I do think they will look past mistakes that people make, maybe in the claiming of their deductions, provided they're not excessive. Thank you.